hello everyone this is a lesson on budget specifically household budget so this is a lesson of the smith family this side is their income and then here is their expenditure so we're going to look at the questions and try to answer them depending on the budget the budget is used for anyone to calculate how much do you earn how much can you spend and it, you can have a budget for anything maybe you want to take a trip you can have a budget that i need to save so much so let's look at this example okay the first question is how much is the total income the income for this family is the salary for mr smith salary for mrs smith and the interest on investment so they've invested some money and then they are getting interest on it so for number one how much is the total income so we're gonna add all these amounts and get the total income so our total income in mass literacy, you remember you have to write what we are doing. Our income will be 10,456, the salary for Mrs. Smith, and then it's 12,899, and then plus 230. Sometimes you might have an income of maybe commission or things like that. The money that is going into the family is the income. So 10,456. Plus 12,899 plus 230. So the total income for this family is 23,585. Okay, that would be our number one. Let's look at number two. Okay, the second question how much is the total expenses? Expenses is the money that goes out of the family. So the first one, the do car payment for 3,000. So it's 3,000 plus the rent, 6,500 plus they have a fixed deposit for 3,000 plus they have paying lights for 755, they pay food for 4,000 and then they pay data for 300, cell phone 425, water sewage 130, 500 for school fees and 1,500 for entertainment. You also need to budget for entertainment as well. So, expenditures. Their expenses are 20,110. Okay, let's look at the next. The next question is, do the Smith have a regular savings plan? When you look at their expenditures, there's this fixed deposit of 10,000. Do they have a regular savings plan yes they do and how much is it is it's three thousand they are saving the money they're not eating all their money and it's fixed deposit every month they deposit this money into their account so that when they have problems they can use the amount okay let's look at the fourth one okay, the fourth one what percentage of their total income does households spend on municipal utilities what they get from municipality they get their water and sewage from municipality and also the electricity so the total that they get from but that's not the question the total from me the total it's 755 plus the 130 but that's not the percentage it's just that is the total amount that they pay municipality 155 plus 150 is equals to 885. Now, our question. Right, the question is what percentage of their total income does the household spend? So, the formula for percentage is percentage over 100 is equals to part over total. Okay. So the percentage is what we are calculating in this question, and then it's over 100. Part is the part, the fraction of the amount, which is the 885 divided by the total. You need to look at the total of what? So it's total income. So we're going to use the total income of 23,583. So... Our percentage is gonna be eight eight five twenty three thousand five hundred and eighty three multiplied by one hundred. Okay, 
this part is into your calculator. So the percentage of the total amount is 3,75%. So it means that the 885 is 3,75% of the total income. You can get different kinds of questions, but it's just that we with 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 method, you just need to, to it's everyday life. You just need to read the question, think about it, and then calculate. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our lesson.